Good morning. Good morning. I'd like to thank uh, James for your testimony. I really appreciated it and enjoyed it. And uh, thank the great team for their work this morning at Baptist Men's Choir. I'd like to welcome everybody to Baptist Men's Day. Today I want to start off by asking you a few questions. Are you content with any situation that you are put in? Are you happy with what you have? Or do you always want more? You know, I, I'm guilty of this myself. I found myself this week on the internet looking for a new truck. I don't need a new truck. Perfectly good trucks. <coughs> but you always want more. Why can't we be content with what we have? Why do we always try and fill a void with material things? With material things will not last forever. The only thing that we have that will last forever is our salvation. If everyone would please stand and join me in the reading of God's Word, we'll be in Philippians chapter 4, verses 10 through 13. Now I praise the Lord that you are concerned about me again. I know you have always been concerned for me, but you didn't have the chance to help me. Not that I was ever in need for, I have learned how to be content with whatever I have. I know how to live on almost nothing or with everything. I have learned the secret of living in every situation, whether it is with a full stomach or empty, with plenty or little. For I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Let us pray. Dear Lord, thank you for this opportunity that we have to be here today, giving us the chance to serve and worship you. Lord, I ask that you just open our hearts and our minds, remove all distractions so that we may hear what you would have us to hear. Lord, we give you all the praise, the glory, and the honor. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Now, briefly, let's talk about who is writing this. This is a letter that Paul is writing. And a little background on Paul. Paul was not always a believer. Paul was um, initially somebody who was persecuting people who believed in Jesus Christ. And he was called by the Lord on his Damascus road. And I think this is symbolic because God shows us that he can use anybody to serve him. At this point, Paul is now the one being persecuted for his beliefs and for spreading the word of Jesus. Paul is in prison. 